In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to export your stems or pretty much your track outs for your beats that you make on your MPC Live 2 to any DAW that you want to use. So right now, I have the song kind of built out. I have like an intro and a chorus and like a little verse chop and then like a bridge chop. Now you could be in the song mode and then you could just go to export. And as you see at the top, it says audio length. So your starting bar to your end bar. The whole song that I arranged is 28 bars in total, but let's say I just want to loop a certain section, then I could just do eight out of 28 or whatever part you want to section off just in case you just wanted to loop a certain part. Now, audio tell, you want to pay attention very close to that. You want it to be on zero because if you're going to put it in another DAW to mix, it's just going to be a lot easier for you to have it loop back around rather than it has a tell. Like let's say you have like a delay on your melodies towards the end of the song or just even at parts of the song. That delay of the sound is still going to keep going and it's not going to just cut off. That can make it hard to loop once you get into your program. And then your stereo output is pretty much, you know, your two track. So you only have this one stereo file. You can separate it through the programs and export the returns and save as project preview. But for this section, if you're just gonna do it from the song mode, you're just gonna be putting it into a WAV format or any format, MP3, AIFF, or FLAC. You know, we only really be using WAV and MP3 for the most part. And then your bit depth, you could choose between 24 or 16. It's already on 24, so I'll probably keep it at 24. Then you just press export. And then from export, you can export it to your external hard drive that I have right here. You can have an external hard drive or SD card, a USB stick. Just put it into the back of your MPC. And then you just go about it as saving a new project. So you could make a new folder, name that folder. Make sure you make a folder so you could keep things organized. Name it the beat put the BPM, put the key that it's in so that you stay organized. And then from there, it will have a folder of your MP3 or your wave. So that's if you wanted to do it in the song mode, but you can also go to certain sequences and just take out the sequence from there. On the older updates, the file saving will be up here, but on a newer update, you go to menu and then you go to save. And then they don't have like an export setting. It's called audio mix down. On the older version, it says export, but just in case this confuses any of you guys. It's the audio mix down. And then they also have an Ableton Live. So just to go to the Ableton Live export, just if you use Ableton Live, it will probably be easier for you to go to this setup since it's kind of like integrated and you could do audio or MIDI. So it, let's say you wanted to export MIDI, just use the Ableton feature, include your program volume pan setting, had the tell set to zero, the same thing that we did in the other screen and then export it that way. So now you can export MIDI. But for right now, I'm just gonna do audio mix down, have the audio tell on zero seconds. And this is for the first sequence because the first sequence is only two bars. So this is great if you made like your whole beat in one sequence, like you had your samples and your drum loops. But let's say you had like an intro, a hook and a verse, you know, just a basic idea. You wanna convert the sequence and then just press do it. And then now you go to the sixth sequence, you have your whole beat, as you can see on the grid. So track two is pretty much my drums and all my drums is on one program. Most of us is gonna to wanna to export our drums individually. So the way you would do that is go to this pencil tool and click explode. Now what that is gonna do is put track two on mute and then have everything else be the drums. As you can see, it says unison four right here. That must be the kicks, yep. And then it claps on track five, hi-hat on track six and so on and so forth. Now that everything is tracked out, what you can do is go to save audio mix down. And now since we're on that sequence, you can see that it's mapped out to 28 bars. And then all you have to do, if it's not on exploded tracks already, is just go to explode tracks and that's just gonna track out everything in that sequence. And it's gonna track out the length of the song as well. Now, let me just go to main again. The BPM is about 75 BPM. And let's just check what key is in by going to shift 16 levels. It's an A minor. So going back to save, audio mix down. Make sure everything is good. Export. Bracken tracked out, call it Bracken 75 BPM and A minor. So now I'm gonna show you how you're gonna import it into your DAW. And now that it's on my SD card, I'm gonna take my SD card out, just eject it from the back. 
So now we're in FL, all you have to do is just find the folder of your SD card and pretty much mine is right here and I just dump everything into there and it's the same way you put in the loop. So same thing, drop the tempo down to 75 BPM and this is the reason why you didn't want any tell because now you can see it loops perfectly and then you could go ahead and put all of that into the mixer. And that's pretty much it. It's a simple process. And thank you for watching. Like and share with your other NPC friends that is trying to export and mix on a different DAW or just arrange on a different DAW. This is how you do it.